Hello! Uh, yeah! It is time for Benui. Short and sweet amount of Benui story playthrough. Uh, because I raided today and there's not much day left. So we'll just be doing the Benui and then I'll be going to bed. It is time to play the Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers pre-story, or at least part of it. Just going to be exciting. I hope you are you you are as excited as I am. Because I for sure am excited for Shadowbringers. <gasps> Alize! Hello. It's been an eventful few days, hasn't it? But I suppose all we can do now is wait for a uh, word from Alfie now. Mm, I don't recall the last time I had nothing to pre uh, pressing to be get, uh, getting on with. We should probably make the most of it. Shall I put on some tea? Ah, tea would be lovely. You may regale me with the tale of your adventures in the Far East and of your encounter with this new primal especially. I'll put the kettle on then. The table looks free if you'd like to take a seat. Upon sitting at the table, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view the scenes in their entirety. Yes. Are those voice acted? No. Interesting. So this Tsukuyomi was summoned in much the same manner as Susano be the medium of a sacred relic. Ah, that's right. They believe the gods are kami, reside in physical objects. Given the danger they represent, it may behoove us to begin a catalogue of such relics. But if we are to contain the thread, it will require a better understanding of the summoning method itself. I believe I shall pay a visit to Doma, and learn what I can on the subject. A fine idea. And I know for a fact that our friends in Doma would be grateful for any information which could help prevent further summoning the region. I will pen you a letter of introduction. Lord Heen will wish to welcome our resident expert on etherology. Greetings! Could it be that I'm in time for tea? It certainly looks that way. Come on, sit down and tell us how your investigations went. After you left, I went about questioning Bloodhose's gravekeepers. They all told much the same story. Once Lisa and her officers had confirmed Zeno's dead, his corpse was in, uh, interred under strict supervision. There seems little reason to doubt the testimony in that point. But when I mentioned the uh, defacement of Zeno's grave, the accounts grew rather more vague. None reported having seen any suspicious persons in the vicinity and all assumed the act uh, to have been perpetrated by vengeful Alanigan. Crucially, however, I was able to confirm that whether the offending scroll was removed. As per Lee's instruction, no one involved thought to check the contents of the coffin. By that stage, it's tis like that the corpse was already missing. Assuming Xenos has not, in fact, risen from the dead, we are left with two possibilities. Either body was, uh, the body was disposed of to lend credence to the claims of an extremely committed imposter, or an Asian has taken up residence within it. Oh no. If Asai was fervent as a devotee as you believe, he would not have been fooled by an impersonation, however committed. We must assume that we are dealing with an Asian and proceed accordingly. Agreed. The question is, how many more such monsters are waiting for Alfino and Garlemald? Their presence was his chief reason for going. He understood the risks, I only hope he did not underestimate the extent of the infestation.
Ding war dann, wie Imperials Hypersonic Craft. Master Elfino, we are making good speed toward our destination. Is that a miss? Nay, tis just... I can see naught from my cabin and was curious to know the land over which we flew. Ah, uh, I'm afraid your military craft are built with little thought to, for such, uh, such niceties. I'm happy to indulge your curiosity, however. We are presently passing over the burn on the western edge of Othard. Even with the benefits of Porthole, your gaze would have been greeted by naught but malms upon malms of lifeless earth. I've read something of the burn. It was described as a desolate wasteland. Blood dry very last, uh, every last drop of ether. Aye, it is believed that a succession of icon summonings was responsible. When Emperor Solus first came to Othard and beheld his blight, he said it to have re uh, reeled at the scale of, this uh, of the devastation. He declared icons a threat to a very star's existence, and issued an empire wide decree ordering the eradication of such entities. <laughs> Report! We are under attack, sir! Magitek armor! No visible des uh, designation! Magitek? But who? Ah! All cannons return fire! Damage report! The main reactor's been hit! I'm unresponsive! We're going down, sir! Damn it! I knew exactly where to hit us! All hands, brace for impact! Oh no! Let have you back, Master Alpha now. You've landed in one piece, more or less. But the air filtration system is damaged, and the ship is filling with smoke. We must gather the survivors and get out where we still can. Uh, I. Oof. Proceed. Oh, it's the first one, isn't it? Yes. In this battle, you will fight as Alfino. Master Alfino, I will ask you to search for survivors. Survive. Get them. Yes. Alfino time. Oh, I love this so much. Pew. And heal. Okay, that's one. Oh, I need to revive them. Live! Oh, thanks. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have made it. Uh, uh. Yes, you very likely saved his life. The question of who would try to take it remains, however. For the last shed of their mis misery! The prince wishes no more alive! The prince... They've not come to parlay, I fear. Ready your weapons! Kabi! What is this? Ah. Oh. 
sort pet hot bar. Alfino is not my pet. He's a very capable young man. But not the pet. But there appears to be some amount of infighting going on in Garlemald. These ones will unfortunately have to die. Found it. Not here. Not like this. What? Who in the Emperor's name? Enemies over enemies. Introductions can wait. You're coming in a crisis, Master Alfino. Let us finish this then. Their voices are way too close for comfort. Ooh. Ah, there he is. Ah. <laughs> ah, yes. Hmm, who could it be? Moonstone! Carbuncle! Hmm! Who? Who could it be? Gee, I don't know. Ah. And dead. Yo, man. What the what's the deal with that technique? Ah, a child's trick. Yup. Why do they have to keep using that voice? Oh, come on. Ooh. LB. Ah, oh, that worked! Oh my god, Elfino, you're a powerhouse. Holy crap. Duty complete. Yes. Ah, oh, it's so good. Hmm. 
my thanks. And your intervention proved most timely. Well, well. I did not think to meet any Orzian in this place, let alone a scion. You know for me, sir. I have some small history with your order. But I will speak of the present. Know you your silence? The severity of your predicament? The soldiers before the insignia of the Emperor uh, bought the insignia of the Emperor's personal guard. And I could venture a guess to st uh, as their motive. But yet, uh, you yet have us to as a disadvantage, sir. Will you not tell us who you are? Our names are not yours for the asking. And as for a purpose, let this be your answer. <gasps> An Asian mask. The face of our prey. You must away before more arrive. Come with us or stay, but make your choice now. Even should we manage to long the uh, long the, uh, the long trek out of the burn and secure passage to the capital, we would no doubt be greeted by the Emperor's guard. Indeed, we accept your gracious offer. Uh... Shadow Hunter will suffice for the present. Come. Come. Uh. Yeah. Shadow Hunter. What a name. Oh my. This is intolerable. But as much as I wish it were otherwise, there is nothing we can do for Alfina now but pray for excess, uh, success. Well, that is not entirely true. While your brother journeys to Garlemont from the east, I could make my way there from Alamiga and find out what there is to be learned of the Empire's western provinces. Then I'm coming with you. I can't very well sit here sipping tea if there's action to be taken. Forgive me, Alizé, but the provinces are hostile territory. And stealth is all important. It is safer than I, uh, that I go alone. I can sneak well enough when the uh, situation demands it. Don't patronize me. We should give this to Thancred. Not you too. Sorry. I understand your frustration, Alize, but the grain has the right of it. You must def uh, defer to Thancred's expertise in this matter. <sighs> Fine, just promise you'll be careful. Seems that praying is to be the extent of my contribution after all, but I will stay behind as I've been a, uh, as I've been bid. <sighs> ah, 
We all have our talents. Mine just happens to be uh, to involve a silver tongue and soft souls. I promise to send the word the moment I learn out of consequence. See that you notify me too. I mean to depart for Doma as soon as I find a suitable East Aldenout vessel to be me there over there. Bear me thither, but I shall return if I'm needed. Be sure to drop in whenever you're next in the area, Rain. With any luck, I'll have plenty full detail about the uh, port from Alfino to share. You've learned the amount ponder. Is it... is it finally here? Do I finally have... Make you go, hmm... Hmm. Oh, I need to... Hold up. With a straight face and then... Hmm. <laughs> it's so good! It's so good! It's such a good emote. Ah, oh, I love... This is so good. It's unbelievable how good this is. Ah, <sighs> okay. Alize. Accept. Oh, rain. Leaf. If you've come here hoping for news, I'm afraid there isn't any. Everything is exactly as it was. Ishtola is investigating the primals of the Far East. Thancred is still gathering intelligence in the Imperial provinces, and Alfino is still out there somewhere. There's been no word since his first scheduled report. How does he respond to calls? Now, how does he respond to calls? And all the while, I'm just meant to sit here, uh, sit around here waiting. It's driving me mad. Begging your pardon, so bear a message from the Orzian Alliance. Thank the gods for that. We have a visitor. Welcome to the Rising Stones. If you have a message, I should be most eager to hear it. My lady, the Alliance leadership will soon convene to discuss the matter of the Earth's interference, and they humbly request the presence of the Science of the Seventh Dawn. Having assessed intelligence provided by the Alamegan Resistance concerning whereabouts of Xenos' remains, they too suspect Earthian involvement, and wish to deliberate the suitable course of action. As the foremost authorities are no foe, your orders cancel would be most welcome. Of course, we should be glad to assist with whatever we can. With almost everyone else afield, I'd say this one falls to us, by which I mean I'm not going on my own. Do come with me, I trust. Of course. Of course, Alize. No worries. You don't have to go alone. To the boring meeting. And there you have it. We accept the invitation. Uh, thank you. The time and the date of the meeting will be shared in due course. But I can confirm that the council will take place in Alamigo by your leave. I somehow doubt we'll have anything useful to offer, but standing mutely at a meeting would still be better than nothing I've been doing uh, than the nothing I've been doing of late. Let's make ready to depart, shall we? Thankred? What's going on, man? Oh, it's it's real. Alright, just, just be careful on the road back. Y you hear? Did I hear right, Royal? This is Thankred coming back. 
Aye, that he is. Says he requires some important intelligence. Being in Gali authority, though, he couldn't risk sharing the particulars in case Imperials were listening in. So he said he'd beg as quick as he could, and to make sure someone wasn't waiting, uh, was waiting for him in the enemy water. Understood. Right now, I will go. We banned for Alamigo anyway, and there's sure to be time before the council begins. Come on, let's be off. Okay. Why does it have to be in such awkward places all the time? Tancred! The two are sight for sore eyes. Now all I need is water for my parched throat. Fit me a cup, will you? Trapsing through Imperial territory is thirsty work. Uh, God, I needed that. I believe you. I won't bother telling you to catch your breath. Whatever brought you galloping back to us, I assume it's urgent. Quite. Without further ado, then. After the successful uprisings in Doma and Alamigo, rebels in several other provinces were inspired to follow suit. Unfortunately, they did not fare quite so well. The Dalmascans paid the heaviest price. For their defiance, the Emperor made a show of raising their capital to the ground, prompting many of their neighbors to abandon thoughts of resistance. But not all have given up on liberty. Heartened by the news of Doma's prisoner exchange, some still believe that the Empire may one day be amenable to negotiation. We have the Shinobi to thank for spreading the good word. They have worked tirelessly to keep the subjugated informed, and a little knowledge can go a long way. There is at least a spark of hope then. A spark in want of kindling, yes. The Alliance has already begun supplying materiel to resistance movements abroad many of whom would otherwise struggle to continue the fight. The support effort has been led by the Sultana and the Elder Seedseer, who have both seen enough Alamegan refugees to know the consequences of oppression. And for their troubles, they have quickly earned a reputation as folk heroes in certain corners of the Empire. That is all for the provinces. As for the Garlean motherland itself... Hmm... Our friends, the Populares, have suffered something of a setback, I regret to say. Talk is rife that Doma has summoned a primal, and the Empire's more liberal voices are being drowned out in the fearful clamor for retribution. And who do they think orchestrated this summoning? <laughs> oh, any but those truly responsible. Xenos has seen to that. Speaking of whom... The Crown Prince is recovering remarkably well. Well enough, in fact, to enable him to personally tour the provinces, putting the fear of the Emperor into the hearts of any would-be dissidents. 
he walks in plain sight yep. and none suspect him, then it's as we feared. Yes. And Asian wears his skin. Uh. But it was not that which brought me here in such haste. During my time in the provinces, I learned many things. Yet at no point did I hear any report of a Doman emissary in the capital. But Alvano should have arrived by now. Could they be holding in there in secret? The possibility did cross my mind, but I have reason to believe he never reached his destination. As you know, Scions assigned to covert operations such as Riol and myself are issued special link pearls for communication in the event of an emergency. I mention this because it was originally Alfino's task to coordinate the response at headquarters, meaning he has one. And whose voice should I hear when mine recently crackled to life? You spoke with Alphano? Spoke with? No. I but heard his voice, and none too clearly at that. Two words were all I could make out. The Burn. The wasteland on the edge of Othard. Something must have happened to them there. <sighs> There's no time to waste. We must make for the burn at once. I had a feeling you might say that. And? I can't very well sit around here drinking tea if Alphano's in trouble. You said yourself that this link pill was only to be used in emergencies. So I'm going, and <sighs> that's the end of it. Oh, far be it from me to change your minds. Ah, thank you. You're good. You're a good bean. Loath though I am to neglect making preparations for the council. We must act swiftly before Alphina's trail goes cold. I propose we face uh, first pay Hune a visit. He is sure to want to hear about these developments, and he may well be able to advise us how to best reach the burn. Some plan. And your third end is a dumber, is she not? I dare say she'd join you in your search if you, uh, if you asked her nicely. While well, you see your, to all that, I shall go and report my findings to the Alliance. You may leave any preparations for the Council to me. Thank you, Sankred. Right, to Dama then. We've much and more to share with you, Stella. I love it. It's so good. Oh. <clears throat> that is curious indeed. Thank you, my lady. You're most kind. Well, well, two faces from the dim and distant past. Come on, now, it hasn't been that long. Who was he, uh, who was that he was, he was speaking to? A local miner. He supplies crystals for the rebuilding effort. Lady claims to have struggled to find a crystal with so much as a trace of elemental energy. Upon learning that I, uh, that I had some knowledge of the ether, 
He came seeking my cancer. Just now he brought me one of his recent finds. It was precisely as it described, devoid of elemental energy, and eerily reminiscent of the de uh, deaspected crystals that manifested in Eorzea in the days prior to the Calamity. We would be wise to investigate this phenomenon more closely. Indeed. But on a more positive note, the locals seem to have taken a liking to you. More an interest in than a liking to, I think. The sight of a Mikate with, uh, with a peculiar contraption upon her head has a certain novelty value in these parts. And any actual regard they may have for me, I owe wholly to you and the others who came before. Everyone here has been exceedingly cooperative, and I am pleased to report that I have all but concluded my investigation. Simply put, by focusing one's will upon, uh, upon an ether infused object of worship, it is possible to conduct a summoning. So the fact that they are objects of worship is the key. They are themselves suffused with the f uh, requisite belief. Correct. Such, such, such sacred relics as the Kojin collect uh, obviate the need of religious fervor in the sum uh, summoner. Yetsu being the most obvious example. She had but to associate the artifact given to her by Sai with the divine, and it served to amplify her desires and give them form. A form nourished through the power of crystals, also provided by her brother, and thus was Tsukuyumi brought into being. Which brings me to the question of preventative measures, which I have yet to find a satisfactory answer. At present, I know of naught that will avail us. Safe to keep uh, that avail us. Safe to keep watch over the movement of relics and crystals. Uh, safe to keep watch over the movement of relics and crystals, as if we did not have enough to keep watch over already. Hmm. But I doubt you came all this way to hear that which may be perused in a report. Has something happened to Alfino? I shall join you in the search, of course. Thank you, Hishtola. Should be glad of your help, truly. Glade? Glad. Now, if there's nothing else, I shall go on ahead and request an audience with Lord Hian. As he puts on a brave face, but she has little talent for concealment. We should join here at the Kian Khan. Lotina's expecting you. May I show you in? Yes. Ian! Greetings, my friend. Alize has explained all to me. Needless to say, you shall have a full cooperation in the search. Even if Alphanot's tra trail does lead to the burn of all places. The region known as the Burn uh, occupies a special place in the Galian history. Every child in the Empire is familiar with the tale. In the distant past, it was a verdant land of te uh, teeming with life, but successive summonings saw it bleed dry of ether and reduced it to a desert. It was upon beholding the devastation that primals had wrought at the Emperor's Solas, was spurred to embark upon his crusade against their kind. The Burn offers a glimpse of the future we seek to prevent. Know you of any re uh, know you of any reason why Alphino might have gone there? Aye, mischance. Though it lies on the route to Garlemald, it's no place to make a stop. My guess is they encountered some men of trouble there. In any event, I'm of the same mind as Alize. We have no choice but to take a search to the burn. Given the considerable distance involved, tis bet we best we went by bird. Rendered I have a yours. You giddy. Uh, will you ready the falcons for the others? I shall gather our swiftest birds. Near the house of the fears, there's an overlook. Pray join us there once you have seen no prepara uh, to your preparations.
Tack. To the house of the fears. Let's go. I think I'm going to stop right before the dungeon. And then, uh, yeah. YOL! Imagine there being a YOL at the meeting point. That's supposed to be mine. That'd be funny. Nah, no, it's just Hian's. I brought mine! If everyone's here and possessed of a bird, let us away. Remember our destination is a barren wasteland. There's no civilization to speak of but a hundred moms in all directions. Take care if you do not lose your way. Oh, the dungeon is right here. Um. Ahem. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Uh... Um, yes. Ah. Uh, in that case, I will yeet into the ground. And, uh... I'll just... That'll be it for today. Uh, dungeon. <laughs> I might play it. Could. Uh, do I have anything? Any reason not to? I don't really have a reason not to play it really quickly. Let's see how long the queue takes. Ah, uh, no, that's gonna take too long. I gotta get up early tomorrow. In that case, thank you so much for watching. Both the raid, which if you're on YouTube, that's a different video. But thank you for watching this stream of the Binui, even though it was a bit shorter than usual. Next time we'll continue playing on the Binui time, next time we stream this. On Friday, there will be Persona 5 Royal, which we might finally reach the ending of, but I'm not too sure about that. Last time we took about two hours to finish the, um, the palace, and then got about halfway through the wait after the palace until end of stream. So I guess we can get to the end of wait and then we'll see what happens. In any case, I'll see you then. Bye-bye. <gasps>